Hello there. Uh, t tonight I'm going to just show you a small video of ACP in action. So let's bring it up. So this is ACP. This is to my remote observatory which is currently running. Now one thing that th the first thing you're going to see here is how well this application can be customized to your own needs. Uh, I've actually customized it quite a bit. Now uh, some of it you can do pretty straightforward. Uh, other parts require a little bit more advanced programming. Uh, in this particular case I put my all sky camera here. I, I linked it to my information to my weather station and I uh, I moved the, the comments here, the log file that is, over here so it's always available. Now one thing you can note here is you can see where the telescope is actually information about the telescope where it's at out azimuth and if it's on the east side or west side um, it shows you what current exposure you're at and then um, it also shows you the last image it took and you click in here you can actually see an image of the last thing that was taken uh, this is IC 1871 uh, you can also click the little guide star here and it shows you what the guide star image looks like. Um, this is the tracking log and if you just hover the mouse over it high you'll actually see errors that you could uh, examine and just take a look at. Um, I've actually modified my menu. Um, it's a little different now. Um, and uh, you can if you have a remote a digital uh, remote power box you can actually program that uh, the one I have is a uh, an ASCOM compliant one so here I can see my power boxes right here um, and you know I have one for the flip flap and all that now I'm actually using ACP scheduler that's why uh, the schedule is showing up here and I actually added this little link for the browser. So let's take a look at that. So here's the ACP scheduler and you'll see currently it's running IC1805. Now it shows, you, it shows you over here how much has been running, what's been completed, what's pending, what's deferred, what's failed. Uh, these are, uh, this is a very useful log over a period of time. Uh, for example, if you want to, if I wanted to see uh, what the status is with this one, it says it was deferred until a certain time, um, and in this case, it needs to rise. It's not quite up yet. Um, it's 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 endless what you can do here. You can actually go and change things on the fly here. I actually changed a priority of. A particular object earlier this evening while it was still running. I came in here and uh, this is the one I actually changed and I changed the um, priority here uh, so it would execute faster because I wanted to see see something on the run. So it's interactive and changes that you make here can be done on the fly. Scheduler in the most part is designed to work pretty much transparent in the sense that you never have to log into the observatory and you could be sleeping while the whole thing works. Um, I have a sh startup script that opens up the observatory and I have shut down one that does pretty much the same thing about closing it down. So anyways, this is ACP in working order and I just thought I'd let you see it. See what you thought.